Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. As part of the deal that I've done with the company, they've agreed to sell my first little merch. The links for my merch is down in the description below. Um, why have I held it off this late for my League 1 and 2 predictions, my League 2 predictions well up at the same time as this? Um, it's because that I can evolve the midweek mid results um, and talk about them as well as my predictions for this weekend. It's, you know, this, this, won't, this will happen more than once, so it should, like, reoccur now and again, especially around the Christmas time. Um, I know the Championship played midweek as well, coming into Christmas, so it, it will happen a lot. Um, during this season, but as I said, it's so I can talk about the League One uh, results, League Two, just for example as well. Uh, obviously, I spoke about my League Two predictions in my League Two prediction video. This one, I'm going to speak my, about my League One predictions and my League uh, League One results, which I of which I do anyway. So, um, guys, anyway, you know what I do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is that because Stanley versus Blackpool. Blackpool beating Doncaster Rovers 1-0 away from home. Accrington Stanley drawing with Wickham Wanderers away 1-1. Uh, let's go to talk about our Blackpool result on the Blackpool, Blackpool point of view. Uh, great three points for Blackpool. Uh, Doncaster ain't one of the easiest places to go in League One, but you've still got to go out there and do the job. Fair play to you, Blackpool. Special fans that travelled as well. You know, it's always nice when teams go away from home and they get the three points. It makes the journey just a little bit more um, worth it, if you know what I mean. Um, Africa Stanley, on the other hand, 1 0, 1 0 against Wickham. Probably be expected. Um, no disrespect to Accrington or Wickham Wanderers. Um, I've said in my League Two predictions about I doing I do my predictions of what I see and you know I look at the scores on my phone and but that's how I do this uh, my predictions. It's well, hopefully. All, if not all of you, most of you should know that it is impossible to watch 90 minutes of every game. Not only will I not be able to get my predictions up on time, it will just take uh, perhaps a week to get nearly the 90 minutes all in. I mean, don't forget I'll do the Championship, League 1, League 2 and Premier League as well. So just think about that. Um, you know, I'm mean, going to do this as well. I can't actually sit and watch every 90 minutes. I wish I could. I wish I was uh, more than 24 hours in a day, but it's not, so we've got to deal with that. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've got for a 2-0 Blackpool win for that one. My next one is Wimbledon versus Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers 1-0 at home to Gillingham. Um... Wimbledon losing two to Coventry at Birmingham City. Obviously, Coventry City have not got no home ground this year. Um, Brian Chair and Birmingham, but Coventry seems to be settling in with Birmingham. Why am I talking about Coventry City now? Is because Coventry City have not got a game this weekend. I'm guessing they should be playing Berry, but obviously, because what's happened with Berry, obviously they can't play. Um, but Coventry City seems to be settling in there well. Hopefully back at the Rico Arena before long. Uh, Wimbledon, on the other hand, a bit of a disappointing day at the office. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton Wanderers versus Sunderland. Um, Sunderland, one all at home to Rotherham. A bit of a disappointing day there for Sunderland. 
Uh, I think I put Sullivan down to win that one. But you've got to really turn up. I think playing your home games and winning your home games is more important than doing it away. Some of you might disagree. You've all got your own opinions. This is just my opinion I'm putting out to you. Um, Bolton, on the other hand, great point for Bolton. At home, yes. But the problems they've had just this season alone, if Bolton managed to survive, it'd be, it'd be remarkable. I mean, I don't like seeing what happened to Bolton or Berry. Um, you know, to any club, I don't think it should happen. I think the EFL should have more checks. I think the FA should take more care of who's coming into own clubs. I think the EFL should roughly do the same thing. I mean, what's happened is... It's not good for football. Um, I don't like to see it to any club. Um, my club was there once, late 90s, which I think I was about three. Um, but, you know, it should not happen. Modern day football should be about the players, about the welfare of the club, not about the money. Unfortunately, it is about the money. So, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, but great point for Bolton. T minus 10 points there on now. Hopefully get out of the scrap just before May. Um, some of them, as I just said, some of them disappointed out of the office. Great point for Rotherham. I'll talk about more about that Rotherham point when I get down to the Rotherham game. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one as well. Um, my next one is Doncaster versus Peterborough. Peterborough, 2-2 two, two at Tramia. Um Doncaster loses Blackpool 1-0 at home. Uh, disappointed day at the office for Doncaster. Disappointed day for Peterborough as well. Um, you know, away to Tramia, relegation, dogfight possibly next, come the end of the season. They're three points that could kept you up. Um, but, you know... Uh, football goes on but as far as this game goes yet again I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one my next one is Fleetwood versus Rochdale Rochdale one all against Lincoln at home um, Fleetwood did not play yet again on probably right please correct me if I'm wrong that Fleetwood was supposed to play Berry. I was so much at the top of the video about there will be a buy every week for every team and you should see that if you ain't quite seen it yet it will happen and um, you know once every week because of Barry but um Watchdale on the other hand one all against Lincoln uh I don't quite know how to sum that up because of Lincoln losing their managers. But I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I'll go for a 2-1 fleet with win. My next one is Gillingham versus Itchwich. Gillingham. Uh, one all away to Bristol Rovers. Itchwich beating MK Dons 1-0 away from home. Itchwich are seriously. Will be surprised if I don't go back up to the championship. Um. Purely because I don't think they should have gone down. I think it's harsh they went down, to be honest. I, I remember thinking at the time, should be coming straight back up. It should not even be in League One. And that's no disrespect to any club in League One or Championship. I think it, mind you, if I, what I was about to say, if I say it, it'd go for any club really, I mean. Look at Bolton, University of Bolton, stadium like that, and they possibly could be playing League 2 football next season. It is, you know, it's all about money these days. I find it wrong. I think it kills the sport more than anything with all this money that goes around. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-1 Itchers Town win. 
Uh, my next one is Lincoln versus Oxford. Just as we brought up Lincoln uh, not too long ago. One all away to Rochdale. Um, Oxford 0 0 against Bolton. Disappointing day for Oxford. Bolton getting a point at home. Um, but the way it goes sometimes, Lincoln on the other hand, probably over the moon with their point, purely because of losing their managers. Um, losing the Saturday, going out on Tuesday and getting a point. You know, who, I don't think Lincoln will go um, too far down the table, if anything. But they still got a long way to go. And plus getting their new managers as I'm recording this. Um, But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a one old scoreline for that one. My next one is MK Dons versus South End. Um, MK Dons losing one nil at home to Richridge. Um, South End, on the other hand, losing four three away from home to Shrewsbury. Um, well, that strange with game has got to be a game and a half. Seven goals in 90 minutes. Seven. I know I've said this more than once this season, but I can't remember if it's League 1 or 2. Um, as I said, I do do a lot of predictions, so I will forget things. Um, but, but still a seven goal for the game. That must be a game and a half. Just a fortunate on the South End point of view, I came, I came away pointless. Um, MK Dons on the other hand, 1 0 at home to Richard Town, probably a bit expected. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 0 MK Dons win. My next one is Wolverine versus Shrewsbury. Um, now, Shrewsbury just as you brought them up, 4 3 winners at home to South End. Wolverine 1 0 up at Sunderland, great point for Wolverine. Shrewsbury move on with the three points, 4-3, just mentioned it, I don't want to say too more about it, so I'm just going to give you the result for this one as well, and I'll go for a one all score life for that one. My next one is Tramming Out versus Burton Albion. Tramming Out, 2-2 at home to Peterborough. Burton Albion, 2-2 away at Portsmouth. Uh, Great point for Tramia. Great point for Burton Albion. I know Portsmouth ain't an easy place to go. So, you know, it's one of those things, I think, where there's a lot of points going around this bit of week. Um, let me just recap quickly. One, two, three, four. There's six straws. Six straws out of 11 games. Six! I mean, if you, you know, put a bet on that. Six straws. Well. Um, but anyway, I'll go for a 3-2 Burton Albion win. My last one for this weekend is Wickham Wanderers versus Portsmouth. Wickham 1-0 at home to African Stanley. Portsmouth 2-2. At home to Burton Albion. This point is at the office for Portsmouth. Um, Wickham on the other hand, great point, I personally do think. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Portsmouth win. But guys, I've got a British video too, and then guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.